So it looks like Amy Robach and TJ Holmes won't be returning to Good Morning America 3. And they have lawyered up to fight for their positions and maybe a little money over at ABC News. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been a while since we talked about TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. Hey, Amy. Be sure to check out that episode of our podcast. So it's been a while. And I've been following little stories that have come out here and there, including a story about Andrew Shu and Marilee Figbig, the, the estranged spouses of these two individuals. And according to sources, these two have been a source of solace for each other. They're texting each other. Even Marilee liked the recent post of the boys, of, of Andrew Shu's boys, that they, they were with their father. She liked the post. I noticed that too. And I wouldn't blame them. One thing we have to remember, not only were TJ Holmes and Amy Robach co-workers, they actually hung out as couples. I know you're thinking like, damn. So there's an extra level. Mara Lee, according to reports, looked to Amy as a part of her sister friend girlfriends. Mm. Her daughter, Amy's daughter, even babysat their TJ Holmes and Mara Lee's child. Why am I yelling? <laughs> so we hear that Marley and Andrew are in communication. And some of you might think, oh, maybe they'll get together for the love of Shania Twain and what happened with her. I don't, I don't know. If it happened, I wouldn't blame them. I mean, both of them are beautiful people. I'm just saying. And they've been through things. But they also are literally on the rebound. They're both also very much still legally married to these, these you know, th these other ones. So I saw that story, didn't talk about that because I was waiting for the, the shoe to drop because we've been waiting for the results of this investigation that ABC News reportedly has been doing to see if TJ Holmes or Amy Robach violated any policies, even though, according to ABC News president, they haven't violated any policies. However, we're going to pull them from Good Morning America 3. And it's been several weeks since they've been pulled. And since then, we've seen Amy and TJ go public with their relationship, even showing PDA. They're like, they're like, huh, to all of us. They're like, I don't care if you judge us. We're in love. We're, we're separated. Okay. Well, now, according to Radar Online, and I know what you're thinking, but I have a feeling this is true because according to Radar Online, they are finally finite. They're no longer are going to be the anchors of Good Morning America 3. All right? The reason why I believe this report is because just yesterday there was a report that both TJ Holmes and Amy Robach have lawyered up to fight for their positions and maybe some money over at ABC News and Good Morning America. So let's get into that part before I get into the fire, the firing, allegedly. Okay. So... Radar reports this. GMA3 co-anchors Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are ready to defend their romance after being pulled from the air, luring up amid ABC's internal investigation into their workplace relationship. Radar Online has learned that, the, that race may be a factor if a lawsuit indeed is filed. Robach recruited respected Hollywood civil lawyer Andrew Brettler, while Holmes signed on Eric George, who is known for handling celebrity cases, on January 13th. A January 13 report revealed sources with knowledge of the situation said that they are they were puzzled over why the network internally said there was there would be no disciplinary action then suggested it was a possibility to the public higher ups at ABC are still looking into whether or not the pair violated any company policy specifically the company's morality clause within their contract and according to stories allegedly we were hearing that the focus really wasn't on Amy Robach. The focus was really on TJ Holmes because he allegedly had relationships with a former GMA producer and some other person. So uh, according to sources, they were really focused on him. So a lot of us thought if any one of these two returns, it would be Amy and not him. They continue, it says, if they are fired or kept off air, Robach and Holmes' lawyers will raise questions to ABC about why they invoked the moral 
the morals clause under these circumstances for the first time with a black and white anchor. As it is noted, they are, quote, two consenting adults. As their reputations and careers are potentially at stake with such action, it's reported the damages could be enormous. Sources close to the TV personality said Robach and Holmes are, quote, in denial of the damage they've caused. All it takes, though, if... If ABC has the evidence that they need, specifically against TJ Holmes and any alleged affairs, and all it takes is for Marley Figbig to speak to the ABC News and be like, well, no, we were working on our relationship because that was also a part of the story. Mara Lee has come out. The last story that we did was about Mara Lee coming out and saying through her attorney to the Daily Mail saying that we don't like the way that he's being so flamboyant with this relationship as we are trying to figure out this divorce. So there were also stories that they were there. They were having troubles, but they were working on their relationship, allegedly. Well, after I saw this story about them lawyering up now, according to Radar online, these two may be out at GMA. And it makes sense. Like I said to you before, it makes sense to me because why would you need an attorney at this point unless they have already showed you signs that, yeah, you're not going to return? And I'm not surprised that these two are not going to return, but I'll share my thoughts after we get into this. ABC is saying goodbye to Amy Robach and TJ Holmes, according to Radar Online. The Good Morning America co-stars turned lovers will not return to their positions as co-anchors on the third hour of the show in the wake of an internal investigation over their months-long secret affair. Insiders revealed the news on Friday just hours after it was reported that Robach and Holmes were lawyering up. Amy and TJ are out. A decision has been made, a source told Us Weekly. The network is negotiating with them on their exit deals and announcement. And this is very much like what we saw on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They're going to make it seem as if they're moving on into better realms, better jobs, other opportunities. But let's th think about this. Unless they're moving on to some other place within the network, where are these two going to go? Now they're both unemployed, still very much in love. Where are they going to go where a network is going to even touch them right now? These news networks don't want your personality to or your drama to be bigger than the news that you're reporting on. It's a distraction. Hence why GMA, which has a certain brand and a certain look, did not like this story and the amount of attention it's been getting. All right, look. Let's continue. So the duo's, the duo's hush-hush romance was exposed back in November, as you know. Weeks later, both Robach and Holmes got pulled off the air as the network launched an internal investigation to see whether the pair violated any company policy, specifically the company's morality clause. And a lot of these entertainment-based positions and contracts have that in there. And these, these reporters know that. These anchors know that. Robach and Holmes' swift exit could squash the potential for a lawsuit with race being a factor. Each hired their own high-powered attorneys, as we just reported to you about. If it gets to that point, the damages, quote, could be enormous for their reputa reputations and careers. I don't think that this is over in regards to their careers, either for Amy Robach or TJ Holmes. I do believe that, like I said before, TJ and Amy, you played this all wrong. If you valued your career, if you valued your families and your children, you would have said, like, you know what? I love you. I, I, I'm, I, I like where this is going. But let me finalize my divorce. Both of you, let's finalize our divorce. Let's make sure we're following what we need to follow at the workplace. And then we can go public with our relationship. But I think between them being madly in love and the hormones are flying and... Them kind of putting their nose up to all of us, including their their higher ups, because reportedly after this, this news broke, they showed up as a couple to ABC and were ready to get on with the show. I don't know if they ever had a conversation with their bosses about this relationship, because in these types of positions, you have to be very transparent, especially if you're both two anchors on the same show. You have to let your HR know. You have to let your bosses know. We have decided we are getting divorces. We are together. How should we proceed? But no, they were very sloppy with it. Daily Mail had photos of them canoodling. He was just wearing his ring. So although you want to say that you were separated 
and that you were, you know, living separate lives. TJ had just taken off his ring after the news broke. Even then, it was like a couple of days before he took his ring off. Because I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Yes, these are two consenting adults. I've seen your comments. Two consenting adults. They're separated. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're separated and now unemployed. <laughs> Was it worth it, Amy? Because we know how hard you work to get to where you are. Oh, you was getting smart. TJ, was it worth it? Because we know how hard you work to get to where you are, along with, you know, all the other side behavior that you were having, allegedly. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to this. Are you surprised? I don't think at this point, several weeks later, anyone would be surprised that this was a decision. Of course, ABC News and their lawyers were probably making sure that when they decided to do this, that they are covered. However... There might be some some legal standing for both Amy and TJ in this situation. But for a career journalist, it's not just about the money. This is a position. You want to be an anchor. You want to be on GMA. You want to be a part of this, this show. You want to have your own show in daytime. So it's not even just, okay, now I'm going to get some money. Yeah, you're going to get some money, but now your career might be over, at least for a little bit. Was it worth it? Guys, I want to know your reaction. Let's continue this conversation in the comments section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.